Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mary Margaret and today we are doing a very overdue 2022 bikini collection video. Yes, it is already 2023, but I just felt like my collection kept growing and it was never a good time to film because I really wanted to show you guys like everything that I have so that I could give y'all my honest opinions, my recommendations on sizing and quality and all of that. And so now that it's 2023, obviously my 2022 collection is complete. So I finally feel ready to film this video. As you can see, this pile is uh, overflowing. We have a very large bin right here. Without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. figured I would start off with the brands that I have the most bikinis from. So starting off with one of my all-time favorite brands, I've worn them for years, even before I started working with them, and that is Be Try It. Their bathing suits are some of the best quality. The size and the fit, 10 out of 10. They have different coverage options, so this bathing suit is definitely more modest. It's almost like a tank top, crop top style top. And then we have these super high-waisted bottoms, lots of good coverage in the back. I have that same style bikini in this color. And I feel like this is a good family-friendly option if you're going on like a family vacation or you're gonna be around your grandparents or if you just like to have more coverage in general. I also have this style from them, super cute, I believe. This style top, I probably could have done a small in. I ended up sizing up to a medium but I definitely could have done true to size. Another high-waisted bottom, super cute. I love the ruffles. This one is a one piece and it actually says bride in like little bedazzled gems, which is super cute. I definitely wanna wear this on like the week leading up to our wedding um, and get a cute picture in it. It's a really good gift idea too, if you know anyone who's recently engaged or if they're going somewhere tropical for their honeymoon. I also have a black one piece from them. It's just like a really good ribbed material. There is no padding in the one pieces, um, but the straps are adjustable. Again, good coverage in the back. And this one actually comes with a little belt to go around your waist. Another black one piece from them. This one's a different style. Um, this one has more of a V cut in the front and there is a low open back. This bottom is a little bit more cheeky and these straps are adjustable. I love this pattern from them. I think these colors are super cute together. It's a V cut bottom, which is actually very flattering. And then this is the bandeau top. We have this one, a very neon green with black polka dots. This one is underwire style, and this one is also very flattering. Again, with the V-cut style bottoms. Some of these I don't have photos in because I did receive some of these closer to the end of the year. Um, so not everyone will have a photo to go with it. Like I don't think I've shot in this one yet, but this is a shimmery one piece. It's multicolored, so it's like a pink on top. Um, this blue, and then there's this silver strap that ties around your waist. I'll try and find a picture from the website to put right here so that you guys can see what it looks like on. This is actually that same style top as the neon green polka dot one, that underwire, very cute um, blue florals. This is their classic high-waisted style bottom with the ruffle. We also have this one, super cute blue gingham triangle style top. I would say this one has like the least amount of support out of all the ones I've shown, but still super cute. And V-cut style bottoms with the ruffles. These are two newer ones that I've received, but I still figured I would show them. It's a pink shimmer material in a classic bralette style. No clips or ties or anything, so it's very comfortable with their classic high-waisted bottoms, super stretchy. And last up for Beach Riot, we have one of their new Valentine's Day collection prints. Super cute, love this style. This style from them is probably my favorite. Next up, let's go into Triangle. Triangle is nice because you can select the bottom coverage you want if you want cheeky or their classic cut. And then you can also choose different size tops. So if you're a small around here, but you have a bigger cup size, you can do like a small plus, small plus plus, 
and so on. For reference, I'm just a size small for tops and bottoms. This is the first one. It's like a royal blue shimmery material. And I believe I also do their cheeky cut bottoms. Same exact style cut, except this one is a like aqua blue shimmery material. And these do have adjustable straps. Here is the bottom. Again, same style top. As you can see, I have a favorite from them. And then my two most recent bikinis from them. I actually just got these yesterday, but we'll include them. This cut is a little bit different. It has more of a V style bralette shape. Um, and this material is like velvet. It's so soft. And here are the matching bottoms. Last up from Triangle, the classic style that I love most. This one is in a terry cloth material. Same exact bottoms. Moving on to Dippin' Daisies. Here is the first style bikini. This collection should be launched by the time you guys are watching this, but I love this style. These, all their bathing suits, I'm pretty sure come with removable padding and it has adjustable straps, which is really nice. Here is a yellow gingham one piece. Again, this has removable padding. You can adjust the tie straps. And I would say this has like a very good coverage in the back. Next up, we have their underwire style top. I believe I did this in a size small. And usually I feel like I need to size up in this style top, but this one actually fits true to size. So here are the matching bottoms. And again, I feel like this has a really good coverage in the back. They also have a ton of options of like cheeky, I think even thong style and then their classic cut. Okay, this next one is just a classic black bikini, but with a high leg style bottom. I think these are super flattering. And then here is the top, similar shape to that first bikini I showed you guys from them. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites. This is also in their resort collection that should be dropped by the time you guys are watching this. Um, this is like a crinkle material. I love the ring detail in the front and it's just a bandeau style. And the bottoms have the same little ring details in the front. Okay, now we have a white bikini from them with a cute little twist detail in the front. There's no like ties or clips or anything in the back. So it's very comfortable when you're wearing it. And this one is like a waffle knit material. Here are the matching bottoms. And then last up from Dip and Daisies, we have a cute triangle bikini. I don't normally wear this style, um, but I thought it was super cute. I love the pattern. I love the ruffle details. It's a little hard to show because there's a lot of straps, but I'll put a picture right up here so you guys can see what it looks like on. And these bottoms are very teeny in the back, um, but they do have uh, more coverage options online. Next up, I want to show you guys Cleone. This is one of my favorites. They have such cute designs. So this one is like a two colorway style top. There's a little wooden ring detail in the front and there are no adjustable straps on these, but I think it's super comfortable and it's very stretchy. It's just like a different style bikini. You don't usually see something like this. And here are the matching bottoms again with that same little wooden ring detail. The quality on these is so good. And I'm pretty sure all of Cleone Swim is one size. So like I mentioned, they're all super stretchy um, and these don't have padding. Here is a one shoulder style top. Again, with that ring detail, it's something that they're known for. Same style bottoms as that last pair, except these don't have the ring. Next up, we have this lavender purple bathing suit from them. This one has a really cute shell detail in the front. And this one's just super cute. I wore it in Hawaii and loved it. Here are the matching bottoms. Again, it has that little shell detail. And these are the backs, but when it is on, it seriously stretches out so much and it doesn't feel as cheeky as it looks. Last up from Cleone, we have a one piece bathing suit. This is all that same like crinkle material. And this one also has a shell detail in the front. Moving on to Maji. If you don't know Maji, they are known for reversible style bathing suits. 
So you can usually wear the patterns on one side or the other, which is really nice. It's like a two in one. Anytime I'm doing a triangle style top, I like to size up so that there's more coverage, but the quality is so good and they hold up really well when you wash them. Here are the matching bottoms. Again, it has that same little ruffle detail. And this one actually has like a cute cinching on the back. Another one from them. This is just a classic bralette style shape. I love the floral pattern. These actually do have adjustable straps um, and removable padding. And for this style top, I could have stayed true to size with a small. These matching bottoms are high-waisted and have a lot more coverage than that first pair. This style top, you can actually remove the straps and wear it as a bandeau, or you can leave them on if you want the extra support. Again, with that high-waisted style bottom, and of course, you can also wear it on the other side. Last up from Aji, we actually have a one-piece. I love this print, super cute and minimal, or you can wear it on the floral side. I will say for this one, I did a size small and this fits everywhere besides the cups um i actually think these are pretty small for a size small so if you are smaller chested then this would be a really cute option but if you're bigger than an a i would probably say to stay away from this one Next up, I have two bathing suits from Revolve. Okay, this is a little bit hard to show, so I'll have a picture on the screen, but it's basically a bandeau style, but then there's a one shoulder strap detail. It ties in the back and there is no padding. This bathing suit is from the brand Lovers and Friends. Here is the matching bottom. It has a cute little ring detail on the side. And then the next bikini from Revolve is by the brand Tala Rosa. This is one of my favorite brands that Revolve carries. The quality is just so good. It's double lined there is no padding has a cute little strappy detail that you can like tie around your waist and then these are the matching bottoms i feel like these are pretty modest or like this is a good style bathing suit if you don't want anything too skimpy because the sides are pretty thick um and i think there's really good coverage in the back and they're like semi high-waisted it kind of hits at like a really good spot Next up, I have some bathing suits from Elijah Swim. The quality of their bathing suits is amazing. And I believe at least this scrunchie style is like one size, extremely stretchy. There is no padding in this, but I have never had any issues because it is such like a good thick material. And here are the matching bottoms. Again, extremely stretchy. And then I also have this style bathing suit from them. I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's that same stretchy material, except it has this like really cool detail at the bottom. And this is also a very flattering style top. It's like a square neckline. And here are the matching bottoms. These are super high-waisted. I feel like this was their classic style bathing suit. Like this is what they were known for. Um, I did this top in a size medium. Um, it has that same like, I guess it's different, but they just are so unique from any other bathing suits that I've seen. And here is the matching bottom. Again, this is like not high-waisted. I guess it's like a mid-rise bottom. I don't even know if that's like technically a term for bathing suits, but really, really good coverage in the back if you want a more full coverage option. Okay, next up, I can't believe I didn't talk about this brand sooner because it's seriously one of my favorites. If you follow me, you know I wear their bathing suits all the time. This is from a small business called Boho Rose One. I'll have their username right here so you guys can go and check them out. This is again that scrunchy style bathing suit, except these are extremely affordable. This one is probably my favorite. Every time I post in this, everyone goes crazy. Um, it's a yellow scrunchy bathing suit. There's no padding, no adjustable straps. Again, it's one size, so it's super stretchy. Um, I will say with these bathing suits, at least from this brand, the lighter colors can be a bit see-through on the tops. So what I recommend and what I do is I just wear stickies underneath. I've never had any issues with them coming off in the water and it completely solves the issue. These are the matching bottoms. This pair actually has a cute little scrunch detail on the back. I also have it in this like pretty aqua blue, exact same style top, except the matching bottoms for this one have a lot more coverage because there's no scrunch detail. Then we also have this one. This one's a little bit hard to show because it's like, 
all scrunched and wrinkled, but I'll have a photo. It's just like a more V-cut style top with a little knot in the front. Um, the thing with this one is I would say this is best for people who have a smaller chest. I found that I kept like spilling out at the bottom or like I had to like keep pulling it in. Um, still super cute, but best for people with a smaller chest. And here are the matching bottoms. Again, really good coverage in the back. We also have this color blue from them. This one is more of like a bright sky blue, super cute. Um, just really love all of the color options from this brand. And then same thing with the bottoms. Last up from Boho Rose, we actually have a one piece. I wanna get more one pieces from them. This is the only one that I have. It's like a dark chocolate brown color, exact same scrunchy material. And I would say this has like a medium coverage in the back. Next up, we have Billabong. Billabong is such a classic. The quality is amazing. They've been around for years and they have such cute styles. First up, we have this underwire style top. I believe I did this. There's no tags or anything, but I'm pretty sure I did this top in a medium. Super cute. There's adjustable straps, no padding, but it's double lined. Here are the matching bottoms. They're just high-waisted. It says Billabong on the back. This is a newer one that I recently wore in Hawaii. Super cute light blue floral pattern. Again, no padding and no adjustable straps on this one. And this one is a square neckline, which is so cute. The bottoms for this one are very cheeky. They might offer other um, coverage options, but the one that I have is pretty cheeky. Next up, we have this bandeau style top. Could wear this so many different ways. You could wear this down and tie it right here. You could twist the straps, or you could even wear it this way and tie the straps around your neck. So this style top is super versatile and it actually does have removable padding. And here is what the bottoms look like. They're that high leg style and it has pretty good coverage. This is also a newer bathing suit that I've gotten from them. This one you can actually wear on either side, which is nice. It does not have padding. And I will say this one probably has like the least amount of support that I have from them. Here are the matching bottoms, just that same high-waisted style. And again, you could wear it on either side. Here is another bathing suit that I have from them. This one actually does have underwire. So there is a lot of support on here and there's adjustable straps. And these are the matching bottoms. I would say this is like a classic style cut because it's not super cheeky and it's also not high-waisted. Next up, we have a gray bandit. I believe all of the ones that I have from them are their collection with Anna. Um, so first up is this high leg flower pattern, super cute. I'm pretty sure I did size small for everything and I would say it fits true to size. For this one, I did the triangle style top. I believe I sized up to a medium in this and it's super cute and does have removable padding. I love this style top. I'm pretty sure I twisted this for that look but it actually is just a classic bralette style top. Again, adjustable straps and removable padding. And that same high leg style bottom. Last up from Grey Bandit is this bandeau style top. Again, a super cute floral pattern, except this one probably has the least amount of support because it is bandeau and there is no padding in this one. And same style bottoms. Okay, next up we have Bide Swim. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct. I'll have their username in one of the corners. Um, this is what the first bikini looks like. These bikinis are really good quality, but honestly, I don't know why I did a small top. I think you had to do same size top and bottom. Um, but there is not a lot of coverage on this. As you can see, it's very tiny. So I would say this style bathing suit is best if you have an A cup or below. Super cute and I probably would wear it for like tanning, but definitely not around family because these bottoms are also very tiny as well. But the patterns are super cute and the quality, like I said, is really good. Here is the next one, same exact style top, super cute patterns. This one actually has like beading right here um, and the straps are adjustable, but there's no padding. Same style bottoms as the first pair. 
Okay, next up, this is from a small business called Swim Sunny Honey. I'll have their username down below so you can go and check them out. Um, there's no adjustable straps and no padding, but they are double lined. So the quality is really good. What I love about these bathing suits is that I'm pretty sure they're custom to your body. So you send in your measurements and she makes it so that it is a perfect fit. And mine seriously fits like a glove. The patterns are so cute and I definitely recommend going to check her out. Next up, we have Bondi Swim. I believe this is an Australian based brand. As you can probably tell, these scrunchie style bathing suits are my favorite. They're just the most comfortable to wear and I think the most flattering. So this one has a cute little keyhole detail. It is a neon bubblegum pink, no padding, no adjustable straps. It looks really good in the summer with a tan. Here are the matching bottoms. I would say this is like, not super cheeky honestly leaning more towards full coverage also have this one from them this is like an ombre style bathing suit so it starts off with this teal blue goes into like a neon yellow and then the bottom picks up with that yellow and goes into orange i would say these bottoms are a little bit more cheeky than that first pair and all of their bathing suits are one size as well because they're so stretchy Next up, I think I'm just going to go into like a bunch of little random one-offs that I have from some brands. So this one is from the brand Burlook. I'll have their username down below. It's like a royal blue sparkly material. It's not uncomfortable because the inside is lined with just like a soft lining, but I love this. There's no adjustable straps, no padding, but it does have a really flattering low open back. The bottom, I would say, is like medium coverage and just a super cute one piece to have in your collection. Next up, this is honestly one of my most worn bathing suits just because it's a classic. Um, it's just a black crinkle style bathing suit from PacSun. No padding, no adjustable straps, just very comfy and very flattering as well. The fit is really nice. Here are the bottoms, they're a high leg style, and this is probably like the perfect amount of coverage that I like. And I believe I did a size small for both top and bottom. Next up, this is from the brand Macis Swimwear. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Super cute ribbed underwire style top, no padding, but it does have adjustable straps. I'm pretty sure I got an ad for this on Instagram and obviously it worked. Here are the matching bottoms. Pretty cheeky in the back, but it has a cute little high leg style. We are getting down to the last few. This is a one piece from Gonda Clothing. Um, low open back, no padding, but it does have like a built in little bit of support. Um, super cute and I love the pattern. This next one is actually from Anthropology, but the brand is Montis Swimwear. It's a very flattering bandeau shape style top. I believe I did a size small in this actually, which I'm surprised. Here are the matching bottoms. I also did a size small, high-waisted, cute ruffle detail, and there is cinching on the back. This next one is from the brand G-Nash. I hope that's how you say that. No padding, no adjustable straps, very stretchy and comfy. And then these are the high leg matching bottoms. This next one is from Monday Swimwear. It is a one shoulder style top. There is padding and it just ties in the back. Love the ring detail. I feel like that's been a trend through a lot of these bathing suits that I've shown. And these are the matching bottoms, just a very classic style cut. The quality on that is really good as well. Next up, I have this one from Balacabo Swim. I actually have a few others from them, but I don't know where they are right now. So this is the one you guys are getting to see. Super cute floral pattern. There is no padding, but there are adjustable straps. I did a size medium in this style top and I feel like it fits really well. Here are the matching bottoms. They're high leg, a little cheeky in the back. And this one actually does come with a matching sarong, which is very cute. You guys, I keep thinking I'm done and then I like turn my eye and then I see a whole another stack of bathing suits that I'm just like totally about to forget about. So 
I promise we're almost done. This one is from TJ Swim. I love this quality. The material is so nice. There's like a silky side on the inside and this side is like crinkle almost. Um, a very flattering V-cut style top, no adjustable straps, no padding. Here are the matching bottoms. I feel like this is a really good amount of coverage in the back. We also have this style from them. This is more of like a velvety ribbed material. Cute little cinch in the front and this one actually does have adjustable straps. And here is the matching bottoms. The back is pretty cheeky. Now, last but not least, we have Koa Swim, Kona Swim. I'll have their name down below. I have a few from them, all rapid fire. This is a purple zebra print, super cute. Love this style. We also have this floral one, same style top, adjustable straps, but no padding. Here are the matching bottoms, pretty good coverage in the back. As you can see, this is my favorite style top from them. Another blue and green pattern same style bottoms i actually think this one's more of a high leg and then our final bathing suit in this very long collection is this brown ribbed bralette style top no padding no adjustable straps and here are the matching bottoms all right Thank you so much for watching. I know that was definitely a long one to sit through, but I definitely feel like we got through a ton of really good options. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about the fit, sizing, pricing, or anything that I forgot to mention, leave a comment down below. Like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in my next video.